Hi, everybody. I wanted to let you know that I'm at the post office right now and I just got a new P.O. box. I was asked a couple of times and I thought, you know, I used to have a P.O. box. Let's get that again. If you want to send cards and letters, gifts, you know, I'm open. Send me a Corvette. That's fine, too. I wanted to let you know the new address is P.O. Box 2. I know. It is a bigger post office than that, but I just got lucky to get number two. <laughs> P.O. Box number two, East Petersburg, two words, East Petersburg, PA 17520. So yeah, there's that. Sorry, I'm looking a little tired today. I just... I just did nothing. I just did that. I, I reserved the uh, box online, which was surprisingly easy. And I just had to print out the sheet, the application sheet and uh, paid for it online and everything. So that was a new experience for the old girl. And I just want to let you know that. And it'll be, it'll be a relevant PO box. I mean, if this is an old video that you're watching now it'll be relevant as long as it's listed below in the description and on the main channel information i'll put it there too so if that disappears then it's no longer valid so simple i don't like people i don't like to have people send stuff and then it gets sent back that stinks in any case I will look forward to talking to you soon and I'm going to go run some errands. So see you later. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody. I um, am recovered from yesterday's cow event at such a good time. And I want to thank everybody that was involved. Shireen, Rachel, the farmer that had all the cows. It just, and Rachel's kids and all the pets. It's, it was just really, it was really great. I think if I had to do this over again, I'd bring Iggy with me. I mean, he was with us. He wasn't with us that day, but he was home here. And I think he would have had a great time. But then again, I would have had to bathe him. I just, I smelled like cow, but you know, I don't know if Iggy would have smelled like cow, but probably. Anyway, now the next adventure is I'm going to Jill's house this evening. Jill is one of the four girls who um, went to Lancaster City. We went there and found a bed bug. It drove us out of the city. <laughs> went little bug. And uh, she is actually was Tracy's neighbor. And Tracy's out vanning somewhere out west. And... Uh, she had said her husband was going to be out of town tonight and did I want to come over and she only lives around the corner. So it's pretty easy. And it just so happened my husband's out of town tonight too. So we decided to go to her house. She could have certainly came here and, uh, I just dropped Chris and Neon off at the train station where they are going to Philadelphia to Neon's very first concert. So that's very exciting for a 15 year old. Anyway, from there, um, I got home and I made some food for Jill and I, and it is like 96 degrees out. We were going to sit out on her deck and I don't think that's going to happen, but I didn't really want to turn the stove and the oven on for this event. So, um, I don't think either of us eat that much. So I just made some, um, some, little picky stuff. So sort of uh, Italian picnic food. So the main course is tortellini salad and we have deviled eggs. I won't take credit for the deviled eggs. That was Chris's. Um, it was so sweet of him to make them before he left. I had to go volunteer at the retirement community. So I was limited on time. So we have a cold tortellini salad and we have that comes with prosciutto and shaved cheese, uh, Parmesan Romano, 
and let's see what else do we have in there it's a caprese salad actually so we have some mozzarella and some tomato um, and some olive oil and the green stuff is basil fresh basil basil from the bag right there <laughs> i love me some fresh herbs okay so again deviled eggs he does a good job and then i made a a little charcuterie that'll be sort of picky with some wine and picky dessert so we have brie cheese here and we have a gourmet cracker that i got from a local a local place and we have cream cheese here with um, a cherry jam so they could just you can just put the knife in there and put that on the crackers and we have fresh strawberries with cilantro love that here's a merlot cheese and uh that is really oh man that is just awesome and then some cantaloupe so for two people i think that that's a pretty good sized feast um hopefully it will go over well because i really don't know what jill likes and what she doesn't like besides wine and no onions because it doesn't sit with her, her any better than it sits with me is raw onions but i do like uh, a caramelized onion once in a while anyway so that's that i'm going to stop talking and i'm going to wrap this up and uh i can't wait to to get there all right we'll talk soon hi everybody my selfie stick might be a little wobbly sorry I don't have my tripod in this room so this was just i just picked it up i had a really good time last night so yeah this is the next day and uh yeah jill has a nice place we had a good meal and um, a little wine and conversation and i didn't really want to vlog it i just wanted to just enjoy myself so uh yeah that's it i just wanted to report that we had a really good time and i would love to do that again so I'm getting ready to get a Chris and Neon from the train station. And, you know, I, I miss them. So looking forward to hearing about their concert and their uh, adventures, riding the subway and things like that. The train, the subway, the Uber. So that's that. We all had an adventure. That's Gloria just jumping around at, I don't know what she's, Maybe she's like swatting a, a, a little gnat or something. Oh, it's the reflection from the camera. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can if I can get that. Gloria, what are you doing? Well, when I do this, there's no more reflection, is there? There is not, is there? How you doing, Booby? Yeah, I'm sorry. I took it away. Now you're bored. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi, everybody. Chris and Neon are back. They had a great time. Happy for them. Neon had their first concert. That's very exciting. I can't remember my first concert. I think because I lived so close to Philadelphia, I was really blessed to have seen quite a number of people like Bruce Springsteen, Elton John. Uh, did I see Rod Stewart? I am not, I'm not really sure. It's all gone. It's all just. <laughs> what was your first concert? Go ahead and put your first concert in the comments below. I'd love to know. So I also want to ask you a question that I'd like you to put in the comments. I was thinking about the bucket list now that I'm really going to do this. I'm wondering if, if you had cancer, and I know some of you do, would you be working on that or are you working on your bucket list? And what would be on it? Even if you don't have cancer, what would be on your bucket list if you knew, and everybody's time is limited, obviously, but if you knew that your time was limited, like seriously limited, what would you get done? I mean, I know I had said that, hey, listen, I'm 61. I've done plenty of things. I'm very 
satisfied and if I if I died tomorrow I really can say I've done an awful lot are there things that are not realistic absolutely I'm not gonna get that Corvette that's crazy I mean unless somebody wants to give me a Corvette that's fine but yeah I'm, I'm gonna really work on that there are things though that I forgot that I wanted to do and it's you starting to reformulate so I just wanted to kick around some ideas and say like say I see someone else's comment on what they would do I might be like oh yeah I totally forgot that I wanted to do that because I have an absolute sieve brain now that's just it I don't know if it's from chemo or age or a little bit of both but my memory isn't what it was I guess there are some things in life that I'd like to forget so it's not all bad <laughs> anyway let me know in the comments below also general questions I'd love to open the mailbag again and uh, I think I'm gonna close for now and I will talk to you soon all right so until then please like and subscribe I really appreciate that and feel blessed because you're blessed and I love you all. Bye.